So, what's all this? I'm cataloging the toys you and Richard had as children. For the museum I told you about a week ago. Oh, right, right, quite right. How can I help? Well, you could start by telling me all about your toys. Oh, good. Thank you. Anything for the children of San Cristobal. Let's see. <laughs> My trusty slingshot. Uncle Freddy slipped it to me one Christmas. Mischievous old rascal. I was told I could only shoot targets with it, but I found the greenhouse glass much more inviting. So you were troubled even back then? Richard was no saint either. He borrowed this from me often enough. Oh, Giselle! Now, oh, where's George? Who? George, her mate. Giselle and George Giraffe. Let's see. Emily and Ernest Elephant. Tina and Timothy Tiger. They all had mates. About 20 pairs in all in an ark. An elaborate ark. Carved, painted, beautiful. Well, the rest of them in the ark remained to be found, so I guess Giselle lost her mate. I love playing with these. Pairing them up, marching them up and down the ramp to the ark. And then the female camel went missing. Did you find her? My hunch is that Richard ran over her with a bicycle. One of her legs got broken off. Tried to repair it with a stick, but uh, after that, the entire endeavor just lost its luster. The perfection of the set was marred, you see. The magic was gone. That's how things are when they get broken. Even when you try to repair them, they're... somehow never quite... Richard says that's yours. Yes. I haven't seen it for years. Well, I hope you'll lend it to the Children's Museum for the Royal Toy Exhibit. Of course. Great. Is there anything else I can do? I imagine it's very difficult to work on this project under the circumstances. Yeah, it's hell. All right. Why do you put yourself through it, then? One of the things I've always admired about you Americans is your aversion to the stiff upper lip approach. You're pragmatists. You find no nobility and suffering at the sake of an antiquated principle. And considering the way you've been treated, I, for one, wouldn't blame you if you just packed up and left. Well, first of all, Edmund, I'm not just an American anymore. I'm a Winslow from San Cristobal, and this is my home. And second of all, I don't see it as keeping a stiff upper lip. I made a promise to the people of your... No, to the people of my country, and I intend to keep it. Now, someone tried to destroy my marriage. Maybe they've succeeded. But I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to give them that satisfaction. This is beginning to sound like a bloody royal already. Well, there's more than one way to skin a catty.